Hello everyone, Glycan here, and we are bringing you a Shadows over Innistrad draft for Friday Night Magic. Uh, and we actually have quite the interesting pick, pack one of Mind Racked even, which can be very good and can be very risky, or Duskwatch Walcher, or Recruiter, which is very, very good. Also, Sinister Concoction and Deadweight in the pack, which I also would see first picking, as well as Reckless Scholar. Um, in fact, all... Yeah, all six of these cards are very fine first picks. Um, however, we're going to go with the Mind Rack Demon because it's the most fun card. Um, we're going to try and get Delirium to work. We're going to try and make sure that this doesn't kill us. And we're probably going to lose to this a lot. Um, but if this gives us Delirium, then the turn four, four or five line trample seems very good. Uh, this can be a way to force Delirium. I think we just take the, either the Fire Temper or the Sleep Paralysis or the Rabid Bite. Um... Of these three, they're both pretty equal in terms of their the premium removal spell and their col colors. There's also the Silver Strike. Um, I'm leaning more towards Sleep Paralysis and Rabid Bite as green and blue are the other colors that want Delirium. Um, and like both of their vessels feel it quite well. I th think I'm going to take... I think we're going to take the sleep paralysis here. Um, I think blue has the easier ways to enable delirium. And this is the non-conditional removal where this is a conditional removal. Because this requires you to have a creature. Yeah, we're going to go with blue. Doo -doo -doo. And immediately there's just not much for us. Uh, we could take the Dance with Devils is decent. We're probably going to take the Stitch Mangler. Uh, or take, there's a white card that cares about Delirium if we want to go for that plan. Uh, if we had taken the uh, the Rabid Bite, probably would be happy taking this Quilled Wolf. In fact, we both have like these common, like decent common cards that match with our uh, second pick. If it was the Sleep Paralysis, we're going to take the Stitch Mangler. If it was the Rabbit Bite, we'd take this Quilled Wolf. Um, but not much in this pack. And unfortunately, no black. Because we really want to be black, and I really want to play this Mind Rack Demon. But it might not work out for us. Oop! Oh, Triscodecophobia. Sl another Sleep Paralysis, which is probably the pick we should be taking. But I really want to try out, um, especially since Raw Ray trying to force Delirium, I want to try out this Manic Scribe deck. Uh, just see if it's possible. If we get multiple manic scribes, we're gonna be um, we're gonna be looking at taking the the blue vessels early to force our, us to have delirium. It's potential that I should just be passing this, take the sleep paralysis, and hope that we wield the manic scribe. Um, but given that this is something that I just want to try and want to see happen, we're gonna force this manic scribe. So, absolutely not the correct pick. Correct pick being Sleep Paralysis or Triscodecophobia. Or even the Darren Sleuth I could see picking. But I think it's between these two cards as to what's the correct pick. We're going to take this Manic Scribe. And something that wants to be in our graveyard. We'll take the Nephalia Moondrakes. Um, expensive for what it is. But if we end up in a board stall, um, this, can, this in our graveyard, which we want things in our graveyard can push us over the edge. Uh, there's also a Moldgrass Scavenger, uh, which it would be an interesting pickup if we just want to like abandon the Mind Rack Demon, sadly. But this is good enough that we're going to pick that up. Drown Yard Explorers is also a decent option here. As well as Jace's Scrutiny. Like, this is going to be a deck that isn't going to mind Jace's Scrutiny just because it gets us an instant in our deck, it helps feels through our deck, and it stops us from dying right away. But we're going to take these, these Moondrakes. Uh, there's the green vessel, which we were talking about how that might be worth looking at. I think we're just going to take this homunculus here. 
just as an early play. Small creature to trade off, get a creature in our graveyard. Shambleback, not that awful in this deck because it gets a sorcery in our graveyard. Creatures shouldn't be that hard to find, or especially if we end up milling a creature from their graveyard, should be that hard to find. Um, but we'll we should be able to get a shamble back. Again, also looking at this vessel as a potential pickup as well. Uh, here we're gonna take Crow Dark Tidings. That's probably the perfect card for this deck. We want just about as many of these as we want, or as we can get our hands on. And then there's also the Warp Landscape, which we might wouldn't mind seeing come around. Yeah, Crows is great. This card's very good. We should probably take it instead. We're gonna take Crows. Ah, uh, Wicker Witch, Deny Existence, and Liliana's Indignation. I think it's just Wicker Witch. This is the the, the old two for one Delirium count. Um, where this can help fuel Delirium as well. But I think we're going to be getting a second one of these in uh, either the next pack or the pack after, because I don't think anyone's looking to take it. Merciless Resolve uh, helps us keep going through our deck. Ooh, the rest of these go into the graveyard. Piece of the Puzzle is actually a card to keep an eye on if we end up with enough... Uh, like right now, we don't have any instants or sorceries. So we're going to take this Merciless Resolve, which will help us get through our deck. Um, also get to land into our graveyard. We're just looking for things that will just... There's that ignition, but we're going to take this Gone Missing because it's a better card. Or do we just want this ignition? No, we want the Gone Missing. How deep will we go? Not that deep. Um, Just going to get rid of this clip wings because it can kill our mind rack demon I can also take the stone quarry for random things that might happen i'll take this lamp lighter because we are we do have zombies in our deck this is actually a good card for our deck we're happy to see it oop jason scrutiny came around probably actually playing it and we'll side this in against the wrath effect maybe or we just play it and discard it to random things. Ooh, forgotten creation or thing in the... Oh, okay. Have to do... Oh, or Reckless Scholar. Oh, why are there so many good things right now? Um, So, in terms of this draft, we're taking for Forgotten Creation. However, I am going to check out the price and thing in Nice. Because I am human. I am going to find out how many tickets something is before I pass up on the opportunity of a free draft or moto will just be nice and slow thing in the ice only four tickets we're taking zombie or three tickets here so it's actually really close between uh the the zombie and the wreck of the scholar wreck of the scholar scholar also helps delirium gets us through our deck but this gets through so many more cards um, oh, there's also a zombie if we start picking up some zombie synergies and really quickly fuels our delirium. Could be right, just be taking this Reckless Scholar, though. Do, do, do. Nothing for us. This card is so good. Creeping Dead is awful, awful card. Don't think anyone should ever be playing this, considering picking it. We're going to take the Seagrass Scab. 1-3s are what our deck are going to want. Uh, we also kind of want this Turtle. Just as a big guy that is very hard to go through. Again, piece of the puzzle. If we end up, we now have... One, two... Three. Three things for this to find. Um, but more, impo more importantly, this says mill three. Or mill five. Mill three, two, five. We're going to take the Seagrass Scout. Which is, of the quality of cards in this pack, a very set pick. 
Open it. What do you do? When one or more creatures investigate, so we can. Nope, I don't think it'll be worth it. Uh, so here it's between the Geist and the Stormrider Spirit. Stormrider Spirit, uh, in case. Nah, we would just want the Geist. I also want the Press Ranches or this Warp Landscape. Hopefully, this Warp Landscape comes back around. Um, but yeah, we're just going to take the Geist here. Sleep Paralysis. Very good, very good. Wouldn't mind this murder, Murderous Compulsion as well. Rotten Heart Ghoul does have us discard some cards, as, or, yeah, fuels our delirium as well. Yep, Sleep Paralysis. Throttle. Throttle, I think, is the clear pick here. Just more more removal, which is what our deck is really going to want. Um, Analog is also not that bad. But we just want a straight removal spell. Hopefully we get either catalog or these two drops back wouldn't even mind to drown your temple rise from the tides now we're talking i think we take it we already have some zombie synergies and we start picking these up start picking up uh pieces of the puzzle yeah, yeah, I think we're taking this rise from the tides. I think we're going to try and have some fun this draft. Hmm, Stitch Mangler. Uh, do we take the vessel or the land? I think we take the land. Could take Pick the Brain? Could take Pick the Brain. Maybe just take the land though. It's between land or vessel. We really want to see the blue vessel. Blue vessel would be great for us. This just gets stuff in our graveyard. Ah, oh, we're gonna take the vessel. Might not play it. Silent Observer. Decent in our deck. Again, this card should not be this late. Uh, ooh, here's the choice between these three cards. We're not taking this one because we already have it as an option somewhere, don't we? Do we not? Never mind, we don't. Um, but yeah, we have Shamble back. We gain two life from this? Oh my god. More pieces of the puzzle. I'm going to take the Shamble back here. Uh, mostly because I read that it gains me life not playing this. I mean, this is an artifact, right? Sure. <laughs> Alright, so what do we want? We want more mana scribes. We want more instants and sorceries. We want a piece from the pieces of the puzzle. And I feel like we'll be able to get it. Ooh. Compelling Deterrence or Air of Falcon Wrath. Nagging Thoughts is also decent, but not between these two. I think it's a Compelling Deterrence. We also have Rancid Rats as an option. But let's see. We have... Decent amount of zombies, so it's likely going to be able to do the Bounce Discard. These also make zombies. And it's an instant. Then again, this has a discard a card, which helps us fuel the delirium as well as as a 3 2 flyer. Yeah, I think we just want this Arrow Falcon Wrath. We also don't necessarily have the most creatures. Now we have 13 creatures. 13 creatures in the last pack here. I have 23 cards here. This is shockingly close. We're gonna take the air falcon around. This game this card can just like win the game on its own. Ever after. That goes with the game plan. Um 
probably, it's probably just as Crow, actually. It's between Crow and the third sleep paralysis. I think we just want the Crow. Or the sleep paralysis. Probably just want the sleep paralysis. I think we're taking the sleep paralysis. Or do we want this ever after? We have no, like... Like, the we have the big thing we have is Mindrack Demon to bring back. And so it's really... How certain are we that we're going to have... I think we just want we just want the hard removal. This crow might like either this crow or this uh, zombie's gonna come back around. Hell, ever after might even come back around. Gone missing is definitely gonna come back around, but this is just hard removal, which is what our deck is needs. A researcher or dead weight or fevered visions. I think we take the researcher or dead weight. How many instances of sorcerers do we have? We're at seven currently. And we want more. Yeah, I can see taking the researcher here. Researcher over the silent observer. Just a way to help win the game. Um, take another Wicker Witch. Probably take another Wicker Witch here. Strange enough, Wicker Witch better card right now than Harvest Hand because Harvest Hand, if you kill it, stays on the battlefield. I probably want this Wicker Witch over the Homunculus. Yep, that seems correct. Uh, da -da -da. Explosive Apparatus gets us a artifact into our graveyard a little easier. So we'll go with that. Here's between the big thing or the land. Maybe just take the land because we're already looking to cut some cards. Ooh, we want this vessel. I think we want and we're playing this vessel over this vessel. Another Jason Scrutiny or a Nagging Thoughts. We're at the Nagging Thoughts. This is such a beautiful island. Such a beautiful island. All right. Fortunately, I think that's our last chance for finding a uh, another manic scribe. So I no longer think we're playing the scab. Other than that, I'm pretty sure we're just playing most everything else. I don't think we actually are playing this moon drakes. We need, we need three more cuts currently. I'm pretty sure we just want to play all of our instants and sorceries. Probably including this press for answers. Maybe. As our second press for answers. Alright, we're happy we picked this up. Fever Visions was sure, whatever. Ghostly Wings is actually not awful. Snapper, we went mine in terms of our sideboard. I'm not sure what we want to cut here. Probably the explosive apparatus. Probably... Or it's probably either the Explosive Apparatus or one of the Wicker Witches. We have so much removal, I think we just cut an Explosive Apparatus. Um, once we're able to sort creatures out. What do we have? So we're going to make this non-instant and sorcery. cost all right so these are all we have one two three four five six seven eight nine instants and sorceries is that enough for rise from the tides i think it's worth trying especially since we're just going to try and make the game last forever with our sleep paralysis -es -es -es.
Don't think we play this ghostly wings. So the cards we're kind of regretting in terms of our picks is well, like I'm not regretting Max Scribe. I think we're still gonna play Max Scribe, um, but we definitely wish it was, or definitely wish we had another one. But I do think I would have rather had the Bounce Spell than Arrow Falcon Wrath currently. Definitely playing the Crow. Definitely playing all these sleep paralysis. Probably cutting and press for answers. Do we have any other instant or sorceries? Okay, there's just that. We're not we're not playing that. We're not that desperate. Um we might just cut one of these five drops. Nagging thoughts or not nagging thoughts. Uh, press for answers just gets us to the late game a little bit easier. Helps us draw through our deck. Find a rise from the tides. Um, forgotten creation seems like it's going to be great. This is a May, right? Yes. Alright. In terms of our instant versus sorcery counts, what do we have? Heavy on sorceries, we'll cut the shamble back. Two more cuts. Do you want to just cut one of these wicker wisps? Or wicker witch? Do we, I think we cut a press for answers, in which case we probably are at the point where we're just cutting this rise from the tides. Sad that we're cutting the rise from the tides. I don't I don't think we have enough but I want to play it so badly that's the thing do we cut this no yeah I think we just cut the rise from the tides and the press for answers so sad Yeah, this is gonna be our deck. Um, we are gonna play the Warp Landscape. We're gonna play probably nine seven, not eleven five. Yeah, because we also have the double black we need for that. We just want blue early. Ah, this deck didn't go quite to plan. So currently a six. I'm just trying to think if there's something we want so that we can try to play this. But I, don't, I just don't think we have enough. Well, we have the Delirium Fuel for our Mind Rack Demon and our Manic Scribe. So that's kind of the achievement of the deck is let's try and let's try and win with these silly cards. Oh, I just wish we had. If we had gotten the second Manic Scribe, I would love this deck so much more. Maybe you should have taken that ever after. Who knows? Let's go.